everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be going over my May paycheck number one budget. This is going to be for May the 14th through the 27th. I am still using the Clever Fox dotted notebook and I have written down all of my categories just to save some time. I have a little visitor over here. Mrs. Cuddles uh, is... <laughs> extra friendly today and apparently doesn't want me to record this video so go on get down go on there we go all right we'll see if she'll leave me alone long enough to record um my daughter's cat mrs cuddles is uh, in heat her kittens are six weeks old as of yesterday and so um this cat cannot get fixed soon enough. You may see her in the video because she has been up and down on this table. This is my fifth try <laughs> to record this video. Okay, well, let me go ahead and get started so that uh, we can get through this, hopefully without any interruptions. Um, all right, let's start with my income. I am paid bi-weekly and I am a salaried employee. My bi-weekly income is $1,527.98. Next are my fixed expenses. The first expense is my rent. I am uh, currently renting a home. I set aside half of my rent every paycheck. Makes it a little bit easier to pay the bill on the first. Monthly rent is $500, so I'll set aside $250 from this paycheck. Next is the electric bill. Um, I am gonna set aside half of the electric bill this paycheck as well, and I'll set aside 100. Next is the water bill, and again, setting aside half. A water bill is about $60 a month, so set aside 30 from this check. Then we have the internet that runs about $95 every uh, month. So I'll go ahead and set aside uh, 50 from this check. Then we have iTunes. This is the iTunes family plan so that we can watch um, the Apple TV and have unlimited downloads um, from the music store and the cost for that is $21.02. Then we have the trash. Uh, trash is paid quarterly, but I'll set aside $25 from this check. It is runs about $50 a month. Then we have the lawn care. So I am currently working to clean up some of the debris that's in the yard. It costs $100 for a truckload of debris and then $70 to have the, uh, the lawn mowed and weed eated. So I'm going to budget $170 from this check because I only expect that they will come out one time. Um, we're pretty we're getting closer to getting all of the debris uh, picked up from the property. I'll probably need them to come out uh, probably one more time after this and take another truckload. So last fixed expense is Disney Plus, and that is $6.99 per month. So let me add this up, see what the total is. So we've got $250 for rent. 100 for electric, 30 for water, 50 for internet, 2102 for iTunes, 25 for trash, 170 for lawn, and 699 for Disney Plus is 65301. So I'll write that up here at the top. So 65301. Then moving on to my cash expenses. First expense is household. This is cleaning products, uh, paper products, paper plates, um, paper towels, all that kind of good stuff. And I am budgeting $20 a week, so $40 uh, for this paycheck. Next is food. 
and my food budget is $120 per week. So that is $240 um, for this paycheck. Now I live with my daughter. She is currently in a master's program. She is not working and I am covering the living expenses and also uh, the food. And we each get $60 per week for groceries. So um, the 120 that I'll set aside each week, I'll give her 60 so that she can do her shopping and then I get 60 for mine. It uh, just makes it a little bit easier so that she can make sure she can get all the things that she likes and wants and I can do the same. Next is gas for my car. I'm going to budget $20 a week, so $40 for this paycheck. Then personal spending, I'll set aside $40 for this paycheck, so that is $20 per week. Last is fur babies. I have a puppy and a kitty, and the money in this category pays for wet food, dry food, treats, and kitty litter. And uh, the budget is $20 a week, so $40 uh, from this paycheck. So let's add this up. There's $240 for food, $40 for household, $40 for gas, $40 for spending, and $40 for fur babies is a total of $400. Then I have sinking funds. The first sinking fund is Christmas and I'll set aside $20 a week. So that's $40 from this check. Same with uh, the phone sinking fund. I'll set aside $20 a week. So that's 40 from this check. Now the phone uh, budget that is, uh, or the sinking fund is to buy a new cell phone. I currently film on an iPhone 6S and I would like to buy um, a newer iPhone. So I'm gonna save up for, I don't know, probably the next six to 12 months. It's probably how long it'll take me to save enough to purchase a new one, but that's what this is for. And then last category is gifts. So this is for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and birthdays. I'll set aside $20 a week. So $40 for this check. So that is a total of $120 for sinking funds. So let's go ahead and take my income and subtract my fixed expenses, subtract cash expense, expenses, and sinking funds, and see how much money is left over. So that's 15, 27, 98 for income, six minus 65301 for fixed expenses, 400, subtracting 400 for cash expenses, and last, are my sinking funds that is $120 so that leaves me $354.97 now my son is getting married in July and I need to get a dress for the wedding and so for now I'm not going to allocate any money towards savings I want to hold on to this money and then see if I can find a dress. Um, I'm gonna go this weekend and see what I can what I can find. And uh, I'll probably do an update and let you guys know how much I spent on the dress and what is left over that will actually go into savings. So that is everything that um, is my May paycheck number one budget. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down in the comments if you um, have ever been in a wedding or uh, have been the mother of a bride or a groom. Let me know how much you uh, budgeted for your dress and shoes. I would love to know. I know 400, well, 350 is a lot of money. I don't I don't expect to spend that much, but I would love to know how much you guys had spent if you had a similar event. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye!